Hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video on how to install Rev0 and get it running. Uh, it's fairly easy. First off, thank you for uh, being interested in Rev0. I really hope uh, you enjoy playing it or just checking it out either way. Uh, again, thank you. So there's two uh, ways to run Rev0. And uh, you can download the launchers through my Discord, the Rev0 Discord. And as you can maybe see here, also I apologize for my messy desktop enjoy. There's two mod loaders. There's an executable mod loader and there is a hook mod loader. And uh, I am looking currently at the how-to section for them. But you can find the builds, the easy download builds uh, right here in their own channels. They're just uh, download them, unzip them, open them up, really easy to start off with. Uh, so first off, we have the executable build. It's very, very easy to get running. Again, you'll download it, unzip it. And once you unzip it and open it up, it's gonna look like this. And at the very bottom here, you have the Rev2 mod loader executable. And as you can see, when you click on that, it's gonna open up this mod loader window right here. Uh, don't worry about P1 uh, enable script over here. Just worry about enable mods. And if you click that and it grays out like this, that means the operation has been successful. Now you can load into matches or training mode and Rev0 will be operating. You do not need to do anything past this point. Don't worry about extracting script or this site unless you want to start modding Rev uh, yourself. Now, uh, beyond that, you can close or open this as long as you do not have characters already loaded that will crash the game now since i well i'll just close it out anyway that is the executable file now the other method is a little bit more involved but it's not too bad so i'm going to go ahead and guide you through if you want to use the hook version which will hook into the game as it loads up and starts now the uh Benefits to this is that you know you don't have to worry about turning a program on. It's easy to toggle on and off. The drawback to this is that it starts always on. So you know if you're a regular player of Rev2 or maybe you forget about it, sometimes uh, you will have to keep an eye on that. So to install this, you're going to want to open up your Steam library and you're going to want to find your uh, copy of Rev2 in your on the side here and you want to go to manage browse local files now if you know how to get to your local files anyway uh, you can use that route but this is just kind of an easy way now it's going to open up into this folder here now this probably isn't going to look exactly like what you have because I have already copy and pasted over but the rev uh, hook folder is going to look like this and all you need to do is just copy and paste over so the I mean you don't, have, you don't have to worry about the change log the change log has just all the changes on it but as long as binaries and mods gets copied over to your revelator file uh, you will be able to start with the hook going now if you're using another uh, direct injection or a DII, I'm not entirely sure, sorry, uh, hook to get in there. You may have the DIM, DI input right here, or D input. You may have to take that away if you want to use the hook, like if you're using a keyboard uh, reader or whatever. Uh, beyond that, if you have any issues, once again, there is a help folder inside the Discord that has pictures, shows you what it should look like, when it's running for the hook mod, it'll open up, you'll see it right here. It's this little Rev2 fold, uh, extension. It's gonna look like this. And as long as you, you, you'll have to kind of click on it to turn it on and off. It's a little bit obtuse, but, <laughs> excuse me, I was listening to some uh, J-Rock. That should be it. Now, if you want to, uh, uninstall that you'll just delete the folder or file or even you can just move the d input 
out of your mod folder inside. Uh, thank you again for your interest in Rev Zero, and I hope this guide has been helpful and not too rambly. Take care.